Hello everybody. I made a video previously, about a week ago, talking about some of the dragons in the lands between. Time for part two. Before we start, please like and subscribe. Normally I add this at the end of the video, however I didn't feel like it. So, starting off we'll be messing up this annoying coward who ran away. She won't be able to run away this time though, once she spawns in. Get up close and personal with her feet. Gently pat her toes. She'll quickly fall victim to your gentle caresses. And just like I promised previously, I kicked her teeth in. Next is Godwin's best friend, Lansex. She too has a weakness. Her feet, just gently massage them. Just like a doula. She likes it so much she sends lightning down around her. Trying to keep you at her feet, not wanting to let go of her masseuse. Eventually she'll back up herself. Clearly you messed up a little. So let's use more force. Another satisfied dragon. Now for Borealis. This one's a little shy, so you have to find them first. But once you find them, all you need to do is pierce her frozen heart. Too easy. We already know how to do this. Her feet. You know, it was at about this time I had a thought. Is it possible that all dragons have a foot fetish? Just like Miyazaki? Probably. And last but not least for this video would be this guy. Because for some god-awful reason, this counts as a dragon. The only thing this one does is try to vomit on you, like a petulant child. Ignore the feet. This one doesn't deserve such pleasure. Massage its face. Try to wipe that ugliness away. Or its tail. Give it a good spanking. It will eventually cry itself out of existence. Just like I'm going to. For you see, Melina has abandoned me long ago. So I sought after a new maiden. Rani, I succeeded too. I turned Rani into my wife. However, she left me too. It's time for crying. <laughs> 